So Mike, thanks for doing this with me. Um, I know this has been a really difficult season for the Sheriff's Department and um, you have lost as two other counties, mm -hmm. El Paso County, Douglas County, Adams County. In the span of a month or just a few weeks, three officers. And we all feel that in our community. Um, Heath Gum was your, your officer. It's, you know, had a, had a huge impact on our agency. And um, I have been just amazed at the support this event has brought to light that there's we have a lot of community support mm. and um, that part has been incredibly helpful we um, an interesting thing happened this week when um, so we're filming this on Wednesday and last night you sent me a, a letter a letter uh, really asking us to ask our networks of churches and congregations and faith community to lift up the Adams County Sheriff's Department in prayer. Uh, never has a sheriff asked me for that. You asked me, why did you ask us for prayer? Be being a, a man of faith, um, I know that that's where my strength comes from, is from the Lord. Um, and I have never uh, experienced in my 30 years of law enforcement the senseless tragedies that we're experiencing right now uh, in in the state of Colorado. And I I don't know why. I, I would would love to be able to know why. I would love to be able to answer the question as to you know what's going on. And I and I can't. Um, but what I you know what I what I do know is we need guidance and, and uh, direction moving forward. The, the only way that I know to get that, that answer is to lift it up to the Lord. And you, believe, you really believe in that prayer has some power. I, th I think that prayer has incredible power. Um, I had gone to, uh, to Ephesians 6 this morning uh, when I was uh, in, my, in my study time and just r really, you know, Paul telling us that that's what we need to do, that that's where we need to be, uh, that we're, it's, it's more than just the things that are going on here, but there's, you know, there's, there's battles that, are, that, that we face in, in, the, in the heavenly places. And those are things that, that without, without prayer, we're not going to be able to, uh, to take care of. Well, I'll tell you, it's an honor to be able to stand with you as a church. Um, Crossroads Church stands with you and law enforcement officers across the state and particularly in our own communities. And you are a man who is involved in your community at all levels. You care about all people. And you have a deep love for the people you work with, that you're responsible for, and that you police those that you are and um, trusted with our community well-being and public safety. And, uh, on behalf of churches and pastors, thank you for doing that oh, and yeah. for the man that you are. Uh, we're on your team, we're on your side, and whatever we can do, we, we will. And uh, anyway, thank you for giving us the time and sharing I, I, your I, and, I, and I can't thank Crossroads enough for, you know, for uh, the support that they have, and not just now, but the support that they have always given uh, you know my wife and I and, and our family and um, they've just they're, they're a blessing to us and um, just you know it's mutual yeah <laughs> thanks Mike yeah thank you yeah I love you thank love you, you too.